so I am Anne, this is Jordan, and then our other collaborator, Sheer, is not with us today. We are all recent graduates of ITP at NYU. This is our Project Village Live, which is an augmented reality walking tour that presents a view into New York City's queer history through the archive of Nelson Sullivan. So Nelson is considered one of the first vloggers, and he documented the downtown scene in Manhattan throughout the 1980s. His footage includes very important figures like RuPaul, Keith Haring, and Andy Warhol. And with our app, users can walk through the city to selected areas with their phones as a window, peer into the city's queer past um, using Nelson's archive. This is a demo of our product. Hi, I'm Nelson. I want to take you everywhere I go. Doing these tapes for for so long, nobody was trying to document the continuity of, of the situation here in New York. Just to even get a, a, a big picture for, for future reference. Or I didn't see anyone with a simple tool like a video camera just taking a picture that, that records reality as it's happening. I was at Stonewall and I didn't even realize it. I was with my brother from South Carolina up in Parkchester and I wanted to come to Greenwich Village. I got on the IRT and I got off the thing at Christopher Street. Here I was in Greenwich Village, had no idea it was a gay riot. And only a few years later did I put two and two together and realize that it was history in the making. Take you walking with me wherever I go. Oh, these boys are cute, aren't they? Look, it's RuPaul. Stand out in all directions. What? Look at you, girl. Look at As soon as the light changes, we'll go on with our lives and I'll leave you with something very special. Let's see what it's going to be. So this project arose from a personal concern of ours with the current socio-political climate and its hostility towards the queer community. And we wanted to use our skills as storytellers and technologists to create a rallying cry for the queer community to take back the streets. Uh, and we, in Nelson's archive, saw a source of strength. Um, so we determined he'd be the best person to tell the story. We needed to take a, a deep dive into his archive. We developed a narrative out of that. And then from there, we decided that AR would be the best technology to tell the story. Then we had to go into AR, determine what were the best uses of it, and create a, a system of best practices. Uh, we met with experts, we met with community members, and we user tested everywhere we could. And this is really a story about public space, community, and connecting the past and present. So we think it's the perfect use case for augmented reality, as it lets us layer the story into the streets of New York, give it context through place, while creating the chance for unexpected encounters, conversation, and just generally discovery. Um, we think there's no doubt that this is a very rich and compelling form of storytelling. Yeah, and we also had to take into account the fact that AR is such a local type of technology. We wanted to reach the widest community as possible, so we created a series of 360 web videos for anyone to experience and approximate what it's like to be in the streets of New York and discovering these videos. Uh, moving forward with this project, we have goals to incorporate functionality which would allow community members to actually contribute their own memories and stories as part of this narrative. We've also been working to incorporate additional archives so we can have other perspectives as part of the story. Um, and we're working to form partnerships with LGBTQI organizations and historical societies throughout the city. We really see Village Life as a case study for what would become a model for telling AR narratives that are specific to certain places and important to specific communities. So we'll take this and develop it into a tool set for creating experiences that enable people to reconnect with each other and with their past while essentially walking through history. Uh, and we just really believe in the power of AR to revolutionize the way we tell stories. So we wanna thank you all for being here today. We'd also like to thank all of these organizations for their support in this project. Um, and as I said, we're looking to form additional partnerships and incorporate additional archives. So if anyone has resources on that, please feel free to contact us. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.